spada mia. Il catalogo è questo, delle belle che amò il padron mio. Un catalogo è che ho fatto io. Osservate. My character is Donna Anna, and at the start of the opera, she is um, Don Giovanni's latest conquest, which uh, results in fatal consequences for her father. Uh, uh, Don Ottavio, who I play, jumps in, swearing revenge and uh, vengeance, um, but physically doesn't do anything until the very end of the opera, when even then he's challenged. Um, He's a more sensitive character, isn't he, in that sense? He is. He, just physical attributes don't come naturally to him. Physical action doesn't come naturally to him. It takes other people to do that. And in direct contrast, really, um, I mean, these guys are gentry, you know, the aristocracy, where my character, Mazzetto, um, I'm a peasant, um, and I've just got married uh, to Zelina, who has been uh, intercepted uh, by Don Giovanni just after our wedding actually, which doesn't board well for me, and so there's a lot of anger in my character um, towards both Zelina and Don Giovanni, um, which does get resolved in the end. <laughs> it's complicated, this mm. relationship. Um, Don Ottavio and Don Anna have been together for some time and are engaged <coughs> to be married, but there has been a delay in that, and Don Ottavio is very impatient that they do get married. Mm -hmm. Don Anna, in the meanwhile, has been pursued by somebody else, and there is a sort of thrill about that, hmm. that Don Anna enjoys and that frustrates Ottavio because he, he doesn't have that pushing force that would make him take that step first. Hmm. Um, so th at the end, even though, without giving away the ending, uh, even though they, they, they are a strong couple through the entire opera. Mm. At the end, there's still a wait. We don't have a conclusion to the, right. to the re relationship straight away. There is I think, I think in this on. production, of, often, um, as Robin's saying about his character, Ot Ottavio can be seen as quite a weak character because he doesn't leap in physically, he doesn't do all those things, and he's by no means that. Um, he's, rather, he's a strong man and he's there for Anna. We know that she, she's in safe hands with him. And I think particularly John Caird in his production is playing them very much as a genuine mm. couple. They genuinely are. It's often seen that they're sort of just two people and we don't quite know why they're together. And in this production, definitely, um, it's nice. We are a genuine couple in mm. love. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a nice, it's a nice take on it. It makes, makes our characters more real, I think. Mm. But then we also have, the, that's, we're both gentry, so it's both a similar status comparing to every, yeah. almost everybody else. Uh, yes, nearly everyone else, yeah. Which is unusual how actually my relation, I don't have a relationship with Don Otavio or Don Ivier, and apart from the fact that we all get together in the end to get Don Giovanni, you know, which is unusual because peasants and gentry just wouldn't mix in that way. No. But because of our, our individual stories, mm. um, you know, linked to Don Giovanni throughout the opera, it's, 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 we all come together in the end, which is unusual. Mm. It's Don Giovanni's indiscriminate chase of women, <laughs> but he <laughs> well, yes, yes, through all walks of life. <laughs> want to start by saying I think it's just going to be a brutal roller coaster, mm. especially for the character of Don Giovanni. Mm. I think it's going to be a refreshingly traditional style production, mm. but with really exciting current, you know, our emotions and everything is real. There, there's nothing sort of old fashioned or archaic in, in our approach, but it's a very traditional production, which is exciting in itself because so often nowadays it is more updated and I think this is really, I think it's going to be a great show. It's unusual that actually that it's refreshing that we go back to old mm -hmm. ways of doing things as well because, you know, there's this obsession with, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, it's totally valid, but actually then, once you suddenly get a production that's really how you kind of want to see it, how you'd expect to see it, you know, it's refreshing, yeah. which is weird. Yeah, and the mm. costumes are sensational. So I think the audience mm. is going to be sort of, transported into this luckily they can leave <laughs> those of us on stage are kind of stuck in Don Giovanni's world but mm. uh, they've just got a little insight into this debauchery mm. <laughs> Madame, 
Il catalogo è questo, delle belle che amò il padron mio. Un catalogo.